Hi everyone, in this video I wanted to share this optimized script where it allows you to create a base cabinet. The way that I got the reference is from this detail and um, I just got all of those different dimensions and all of the different parameters and I built out the cabinet and made sure that it was fully parametric. Uh, what this is useful for is if you have a kitchen or if you have a design and you just want to get some base cabinets in, this will make sure that they're fully accurate and you can play around with all of these. So the width, you can increase it. At the end, what we have is this base cabinet. And what I'm going to do is create a 24 inch width by 24. And I'll go ahead and bake all of these. Now there is an extra base one where you could create an additional base here uh, for more support. And that would be this one. So with this one, as you can see, it just adds an extra support on the side. It's not required, it's not necessary. It's just something that I wanted to uh, add in there just in case. Let's take all of these. I'll middle click and bake. And now let's go in Rhino mode and take a look at what this looks like. So we have our face frame. Let's hide these. We also have the cabinet here where the bottom part intersects here and it creates a um, offset in here. So when it's all assembled, it all kind of fits in. Same thing with these back panels. So if I take this and I hide it, as you can see, the backing is actually notched into the wood. So now let's take off one of these side panels. 
pick out. And this is what would be uh, done in the CNC machine. These panels with all of these curves, that would be the tool path for the CNC machine. So let's bring this back. And that's uh, that concludes this video. I want to share with you this base cabinet um, for interior architecture.